So in this example, uh, we're asked to determine the corrections needed in planes P and Q, here and here, there and there, I should say, to balance the rotor shown. Okay, so we have a rotor here with a with a mass of 120 grams, and a radius. So this distance here is 50 millimeters and this distance here is 62.5 millimeters okay then so let's see how we get on so there's our uh, our values and we were given the dimensions from p to 1 is 150 millimeters from 1 to 2 is 150 that means from p to 2 is 300 and from 2 to q is 150 that means from p to q is 450 millimeters so if we want to dynamically balance it um, we have to make sure that the um, sum of the moments um, are equal to zero so we're going to take all our moments from this point p um, good reason to do that is we need to get two masses uh, we've put a mass here at P and one at Q but by taking the moments about P uh, we eliminate P so we only have one one unknown okay so I'm going to take the moments about P, about P we could easily have taken them about Q also we should get um, the same answer but um, let's just take it about P for the, for the time being okay so we need to get uh, the sum of m1 r1 d1 cosine t to 1 plus m2 r2 d2 cosine t to 2 and we need to add those up okay so we want to get the sum of the moments in the x direction so here's m1 r1 d1 cosine t to 1 which is this value here m2 r2 cosine t to 2 which is this value here there is no m3 so we don't need this guy let's put in a line we don't need that we won't need that as well and this is our uh, our solution so if we just rearrange that equation slightly again we don't need uh, we don't need these values here so we don't have them there's only two so uh, if we bring m r r r d r cosine t to r to one side we get this value here and bring m r r r d r sine t to r to this side bring that over here we get this value here so what it's saying is when I when I add these values, okay, so when I add these two values, I will get the negative of M R R R D R sine T R, which means M R in this in, in this case we're talking about uh, Q. Okay. Uh, we're talking about plane Q. So the M Q R Q D Q cosine T to Q uh is 1125 minus 1125 because that's a positive answer and it's uh minus 900 for in the vertical plane all right so um i hope that makes sense so the horizontal was a minus number so the only place in a circle where uh, we have a cosine that's minus and a sine is minus is down here so that is our our resultant at position q so here it is drawn out a little larger if we want to get the angle then it's inverse tan of 900 over 1125 which is 38.65 which would be this this angle here uh, let me just draw that in. Uh, give me uh, what color do I want? Yellow. So it'll be this angle here. 
but all the angles are measured from here. So therefore, this theta Q is 180 plus 38.65. So that gives us 210. So that's the 210 degrees shown here on, um, on, th on this image. If I want to get the, the mass and the radius, well, we just get the length of this guy. It's a right angle triangle. So uh, the square and the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square and the other two sides. So we get MR, sorry, MQ, RQ, DQ is equal to 1440. But we know what DQ is. So it's the distance from here to there, which is 450 millimeters. So MQ, RQ is 1440 divided by the 450 millimeters. Uh, which is 0.45 meters, and that gives me 3,201 gram millimeters. Actually, I just want to go back to the previous slide. When I put these values in, I put the R in millimeters, the mass was in grams, but I put D here in meters. Um, now you might say, why didn't I have that in millimeters, or why didn't I have this in meters? Uh, you, you can. But I've just decided to put this into meters, um, just to keep the number small, okay? Because if I if I multiplied one hundred and twenty by fifty by one hundred and fifty, I get a very large number, and if I multiplied one twenty point by point zero five by point one five, I get a really small number. So it's just to keep the numbers manageable. But you do have to remember what the units are. And as long as you're consistent, there shouldn't be a problem. All right. All right, so we have a value for MQ, RQ. Okay, so that means we would put a, a balance mass on this plane of MQ, RQ. The shaft would then be dynamically balanced. It would be dynamically balanced. But that does not mean it's statically balanced. So we might have to put another mass uh, on it to statically balance it. And the only place we can put it is here at P. Because we've taken the moments about P. So if I put the mass anywhere else, I'll upset the dynamic balance. But if I put it here, well, the D value from P would be zero. So it doesn't it doesn't make it doesn't have any any influence on the on the dynamic balance. So I'm gonna put the static balance weight on, on this plane P. So now we just have to work out what it is. Okay, so for static balance, we just need M and R. So I have M1, which is 120 grams, M2, 60 grams, R1, so this distance here was 50 millimeters, this distance here was 62.5, we were given that in the question, so I can work out what MR is for both of those. And then for Q, this plane here, we, we just worked out that MQRQ was 3201. One is at an angle of 90 degrees, two is at zero, and we've just worked out that uh, MQRQ is at 210 degrees. So then I can work out MR sine theta. Uh, so, you know, I just add up all the MR sine thetas and MR cosine thetas, and I get minus uh, MP, RP, cosine theta P. So I just change the signs. So again, we have two two negatives. When I add when I add those up, I get a positive, but I need to change the sign. So uh, we're going to put this balance mass here on the on the p plane. So, so when we're looking in, it'd be somewhere around here. We just have to find what what exactly is the angle. Okay, so I've drawn in the cosine. So that's one two two eight. That's minus 4029. So if we want to get the angle then, it's 73 degrees. So that angle here is 73 degrees. Again, let's uh, just draw it in. Okay, that's 73 degrees. But we need to measure from, from this point here. So we need to add on uh, 180. 
So when you add 180 to 73, you get 253 degrees. So our, our statically balanced weight, or our statically balancing weight, is going to be, then it's the square root of, of these two guys. And that works out to be, um, sorry, it's the square root of this squared plus this squared. And that works out to be 4211. Uh, that should be a minus there. It won't affect the sum because uh, they're squared. Okay, so we have 4211. So that means that we're going to have a mass by radius uh, product of 4211 at 253 degrees on P on the um, on the P plane. It's just there, and we had a 3201 gram millimeter uh, balancing mass on the Q plane. So that is this shaft dynamically balanced and then uh, statically balanced.